going to learn about the excerpt length hook, uh, which is actually a filter hook. Okay, so if I go to WordPress, this is my theme. Okay, I'll just show you the codes. This is just a basic theme, just for um, you know demonstration purposes. I have my index.php, which is calling the WP head and WP footer to get the header and the footer. Uh, respectively and uh, I've got a div which has got the content and I'm just running the loop which is the half post while half post the post I'm getting the title of each post uh, the latest 10 10 uh, latest 10 posts and uh, getting using the the excerpt function what this does is this gives me uh, you know a certain number of uh, characters from the post content it doesn't give me the entire post content Okay, that's why this uh, the excerpt function is used, which is a WordPress provider function. Okay, and then it's end while end if, and that's it. Okay, so that's what what it is. And um, if you go and check, if you refresh the page, you can see that the entire content is not being loaded. There's only certain number of characters, and we're going to look into it as to what that default number of characters which is being displayed. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to use a, a filter hook uh, which is called the excerpt length. But before I do that, I just like to show you what I have in the style.css. So I've got this couple of styling codes written over here in functions.php. I have uh, used the add action wp nq scripts hook to include my style.css file. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Okay, and here is what we're going to talk about today, which is the add filter excerpt length hook. Okay, so the excerpt length hook, if you check, um, this is, uh, if you check the core, it is included in WP includes, and the name of the file is formatting.php. So if you go to formatting.php, this one and if you open it and if you search it this is where it is defined okay so as you can see apply filters and then there's the hook name called excerpt length and then the default value of this hook uh, which is the parameter that's available the data that's available is 55 which means that uh, there are 55 number of characters that are being displayed over here in the post characters or words okay uh, not characters actually it's words because I don't think it's characters yeah okay cool and as you know that in apply filters you know we are getting the value of it that is getting stored in excerpt length um, variable and that's variable is going to be displayed further on okay so all we can do is just change this value and if you go on to the site which is filter WordPress uh, you can see this is the filter uh, okay that's a filter name all right and uh, it accepts one parameter uh, in fact it, it gives you the access to one variable uh, which is I think integer variable and default value is 55 so we know that um, we can return a integer value okay because it's giving me the length okay right cool so I've got my add filter, excerpt length is the name of the hook. I'm calling this function so when the script reaches at this point, it's going to you know call the uh, add filter and this function of mine, which is my custom function. I'm checking if this function exists. You should always do that to ensure that there is no clashes with the existing WordPress functions or someone else's functions, which are predefined. So this is my function. Uh, it's taking the length as parameter so length will be available so I think if you go to um, codex and I think excerpt length here it is if you click on it as you can clearly see it takes uh, it gives you access to one uh, data variable which is length which is an integer okay and when you return it uh, whatever the value you're returning is getting stored into this and is being available to the apply filter over here 
okay so this value whatever you're gonna you know uh, return from your custom function that value so in in this case 20 integer 20 is getting returned and is being available to this extra length and that's what is going to be taken into consideration uh, so which means that once I go ahead and add filter and return 20 then instead of 55 characters for our post content it should only show 20 see if I refresh the page it's only showing 20 let's change it to 10 and see what happens as you can see now it's 10 let's reduce it even further to 5 as you can see only only five words so one two three four five words so it's actually words not characters sorry my bad okay so that's how this uh, you know ad filter works so basically as I've explained in previous videos uh, the job of the ad filter is to modify the uh, you know content or, or a variable that's available at that point when the apply filter is being called okay so when the script reaches at this point it's going to check uh, you know if this hook is attached to any of the custom functions in this case yes it is it is attached to this function this function is called it changes the value of the length which is available from 55 to 5 and that's what's being returned uh, from this function and that's what is going to be available here as the value of the apply filters so this will be equal to 5 or whatever value we change it to and you know that is what is going to be you know used later on to display the content uh, you know number count of characters all right so I hope that explains if you have any questions you can you know, write a comment and ask and you'll be watching my next few videos which explains to you um, you know more types of hooks and filters hook action and filters okay thank you very much guys take care bye